This is Anse's workbench and I am going to do a body fitting mesh for a 2D aerofoil. So for that, under components here, we can get a mesh here, mesh system. And we need to open the geometry here. That will direct us to our design modeler window. Design model and selecting the plane, new sketch, and we need to import the coordinates first. So, for that, going to points and definition from coordinate file. So, select the coordinate file. Presently, I'm considering a symmetrical A point coordinates. click at the end and close the end so then go for apply and generate so now the curve is generated and if you don't want to see this uh, tile you can close it and i need to create a surface for this so for that surface from edges select the edge and apply and then go for generate so now the surface is created for this air point and now we need to make a domain around this air point so for that I want to make another sketch for a domain. So I want my XY plane plane at the trailing edge of an airfoil. So selecting the new plane now. New plane that is a plane 4 here and I want to transform it. That is offsetting along X for a distance of 1 meter. That is the core length of this uh, airfoil. So now the axis system is there at the trailing edge of an airfoil and from here I am going to create a domain, domain. so under plane 4 new sketch for creating a domain go for sketching arc by 3 point will be there select the trailing edge as a center and by center we need to take and select the trailing edge of an airport and randomly, randomly click on this y axis later we can give the dimensions for that and after that we need to give a we need to make a domain at the rear end also for that i'm going to take a rectangle by three points this is the first point second click here this is the third point and I don't want the lines here so I want to trim them so under modify go for trim trim these lines and now we need to give a dimensions for this domain so this I want it to be around 5 times the chord length that is a 5 meter and the next dimension is the length of this domain I want it to be 10 times the chord length, so 10 meters. So this finishes the domain part. Now generate that, and now I need to create a surface for this domain. So for that, go for a concept and surface from the sketch. That is a sketch two, and I will add the material as a frozen just to differentiate it from the airfoil. So apply and then go for generate. So now the surface is created, and I need to subtract the airfoil surface from this uh, domain so I'll go for create 
boolean option and here we need to select the operation as a subtract target body is uh, the error point so target body is uh, this uh, entire domain and uh, tool body is the error point so then go for generate so now the error point surface is removed now so next we need to divide this surface at present it is a one single surface now so in order to have a good mesh we need to divide the surface so for that we need to have another sketch here and draw the lines on both the x and y axis Trim the extra lines After trimming them we need to go for a concept and we need to create a line from sketches sketching the sketch 3 selecting the sketch 3 and apply go for a generate and then under uh, tools and there will be a projection option there select all the edges with the control button apply and the target body is the entire surface which we need to divide so generate now the surfaces will be divided ok then close the design model and now we need to mesh so open the mesh model Okay, the mesh is loaded now, so select the XY plane here and go for a mesh. Right click on the mesh and insert face mesh here and select all the faces with the control button and apply. And then again insert a sizing here. We can divide the edges here, select the edge option here and select these two curves and apply and do the element size that is number of divisions we can use at present it is 1 and I am going to make it as 50 divisions the it is of 5 meter so similarly insert another method sizing so for all these parallel lines I am going to make it is of 10 meter so I am going to make it as uh, 10 divisions 100, 100 divisions and the next one the remaining edges they are of a 5 meter in length so again I am giving them as uh, 50 divisions Click on our mesh and generate the mesh. So, this finishes the meshing part for a symmetrical airfoil. The procedure remains same for a camber airfoil also.